Okay, what's up, YouTube? Just giving you guys a little update on what I'm working on on my vehicle. Um, right now, um, as you can see, this is my snow performance injector, and this is my throttle body special. I took off the throttle body, and what happens is the water methanol sprays through here. I want to show you, this is how it looks when the mist is actually spraying. Press the button. All right, that's good. Um, and then when my throttle body opens up, it pushes it into my system and that cools it down. What I'm going to do is actually take this nozzle. I'm, I'm going to it in my actual intake holes. Me putting it inside of my intake holes, what it allows um, the system to do is atomize um, the water methanol. And basically what that means is allows it to turn into more of a fine mist. What I noticed on high end when I took it to the track, that I got a couple of flutters, um, too much um, water methanol in the system. Um, it it kind of, kind of, just kind of hurt my torque a little bit. So I'm just going to take it back. Some people even will put it in the um, tubing right before the intercooler to cool off the intercooler if you don't have a big intercooler before it gets to your actual system. Okay, YouTube, so just to show you guys where I ended up um, mounting the actual new meth, um, I mounted it um, right here. I have the actual solenoid coming here. When you use solenoids, you wanna make sure that you're going the proper way to flow. So as you know from my previous videos, it's coming from my tank, then it runs here. And then the new spot is gonna be right over here in my intake um, piping that's leading up to my throttle body. I put some goop right here. It's just like a rubber adhesive that gets hard just to prevent any boost leaks. And so then that sprays right before um, my throttle body. So now why I did that is it um, atomizes more now to where once it reaches here, it's more of a vapor than a fluid. A lot of people, you know, always are concerned about too much water getting into their intake system. It, it's not, I mean, you have to understand the amount of PSI that's um, going through the piping and it's also mixed with, mixed with um, methanol. So it's gonna eventually evaporate, but I just wanted to um, atomize more because I had to um, up my nozzle because of the horsepower that I'm, um, pushing now so i just kind of put it back here so once it reaches the throttle body it opens up that's going to be that methanol that cold air that's going to go into the combustion chamber and bam you have um a bigger boost i would say that doing this just based on you know reading my temps and my numbers from you know torque and real dash um I would say it kind of gave me about an extra 10 horsepower boost. I haven't officially dynoed it yet. I'm trying to set up a dyno day. Um, and um, once I do that, I'm going to, you know, have the car dynoed and show you guys the numbers, for, especially for all the critics who just can't believe that a 2.0 can push that much horsepower when you have Porsches that's been dominating the um, four-cylinder platform forever. And then even... Um, I ran with one of my buddies who have a, um, a 2019 RS5 with a 2.9 450, and it was a real close race. Um, I got him a couple of times. He got me a couple of times, and that's the new Supreme car. So, um, and that's a 2.9, like I said. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to keep the videos coming. Um, just in case you guys didn't see, that's going to be my new downpipe. That's going to be the CTS turbo downpipe that I installed. Pretty nice finish to it. Yeah. Thanks, guys.